Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking out the F4U1D Corsair, but before we get into the actual gameplay, I would like to say a quick few things before we start. I do apologize that this video is really, really late. I have been extremely busy for the past couple of weeks and it will probably stay busy for me for the next coming couple of weeks or even months, I am not 100% sure, but I will do my best to try and keep the uploads as regular as possible. So with that out of the way, let's get to the actual gameplay. So the Corsair, especially the 1D, is a plane that I have very little knowledge of. Um, the 1D seems a little heavier than the 1A, but that could just be me speculating. I really wouldn't have a clue. However, it is a pretty nice plane to fly out once you kind of know what you can and cannot do with it. So after the 109 dove on us, we managed to make him overshoot and get some rounds into him. Nothing too critical though. And I keep spraying a little bit because that is another thing about the Corsair. It doesn't have extremely large capacity of ammo, but it definitely does have enough. Now I make a little evasive maneuver, try and get away from his guns, and he again overshoots. I get some guns on, sadly only hits. It would have been very nice if that was a fire, but alas, no cigar. So I go back up after him because I am feeling a little bit experimental with this plane, whether it can and cannot do the maneuvers that I want it to do. Get some more hits on him, again nothing too critical, and at this point he is just going to fly away because he has had enough of this fight. I put some more shots in to see if I can get some hits on him, but sadly no hits, and then I spot something on my radar, a red dot approaching, and it turns out to be a C-205. Now, this guy I'm not extremely worried about because I have flown that plane and I am personally quite underwhelmed by it. And, well, he definitely did not come out of that engagement very well because after he overshot us, we put our nose into the air and got some guns on and got a relatively nice first kill. Now, there's another thing that you will notice when you're flying the 1D Corsair, and I'm not sure if this is on the 1C and the 1A as well. Um, but at some point you will run out of weapon capacity. It is not due to altitude or anything similar to that. Um, it's just after you've wept a certain amount of time you can no longer wep. It's not a really big issue, but in certain fights it really does help to have the wep. Now there's a P-47 right below, so I dive on him, get some hits on. And this is an issue that I have run into with wing-mounted guns very often. It's when you're so close to the enemy, you can only really effectively aim with one set of guns, which is rather annoying, but it doesn't really matter. We make a quick maneuver to get back on a 6 from a relative decent range, and this guy is so slow and so low that he is basically done. I get a fire on him, and then the wing falls off after that, and we get our second kill. Now there is two enemies right in front of us, and I'm going to be trying to help out my friends there, although my friends do seem to be in a better state than their enemies. They're both above their enemies, not that much, but still enough that I am relatively confident in the fact that they are not in any immediate danger. But I will still be making my way over there to lend assistance, and then I spot a HE-111 on the runway. Now the 111 I am not at all worried about, I'm just going to let him sit there and someone else is going to kill him or something. He is a very low priority target. Now my friendly squad mate does get taken out by the enemy plane which is bad news. So now we have two enemies in front of us, actually three although the SM-79 is really not anything to worry about. Now the guy up high is going to be a uh, issue if he comes towards us, and it does look like he is, so I start my evasive maneuvers. Now he shoots a little bit, doesn't hit me, and I turn back around to try and go for him. The issue here is that we're all basically pretty low, and he is extremely fast. I am never going to catch him before he gets towards the Spitfire. Now the only thing that I can hope for is that the Spitfire is paying attention, but to my surprise, he actually didn't go for the Spitfire, he went for someone else making him a much more easy target for me. Now, I'm not sure what happened there. He either ripped off his flap or got hit by his own AA. I doubt that that was my 
50 cals doing that amount of damage, but something flew off and he is now a very easy target. Although, well, easy target is, relatively speaking, he is definitely going to die, it's just I can't really hit him. This is a very awkward situation I find myself in sometimes, when you j I just can't manage to shoot them down. No matter what I try now, I try not to hit our friendly there. However, he did not seem to take very much care into trying to not hit us when he was shooting at the MC-202. Now I will put a jump cut here because it takes a very, very long time before anything else happens in this game. Because he is the last guy alive, and to be honest, he played the best he could. He played with his airfield and tried to use the AA to his advantage because against such a overwhelming force of allied planes against him, it, there's not really much else he can do. But I will be back with you once the action resumes. So after quite a while of me running the engine at 50% throttle and even lower, our friend has finally come close enough to where I feel comfortable engaging him because he is relatively far away from his airfield and I feel like he won't be able to run away to his airfield immediately. So I turn around to try and engage him, put the engine back to full 100%. Now I do have relatively little ammo left so I do have to take that into account. One thing I also have to take into account is the fact that I don't want to overshoot him, and even if I do, I need to have enough speed to get away from his guns relatively quickly. So I try and do some maneuvers to try and lose some speed, put the throttle to complete zero, and I'm relatively comfortably on him right now, get some hits in, still keep the throttle at zero because I am able to stay behind him. Now I put the engine back in 100%, to be able to follow him in his upward maneuver, get some more hits in, but nothing too critical. And right here, it's just over. Basically, he is very low, very slow, and I am able to outturn him. I put some nice hits into his engine, set him on fire, and that is game over. So now that the first game is done, we will head into the second one. So the second one is a little bit of a different kind of gameplay. It's not necessarily a game where I do extremely well and get a lot of kills. It is just a game where there are some really interesting and nice fights, uh, but I don't really get too much out of it in the end. But the fights are interesting to watch either way, if you ask me. So our first head-on on the enemy LA-5 is not too favorable, we only get some hits, but then again we don't take any damage, so it is no real issue. I put some more shots down range, but they do not connect. Now there's a lot of targets for me to go for here. I decided to go for the 109 because he's making a very easy target out of himself. Now I put a lot of rounds into him, but he doesn't really seem to mind the damage that I put into him very much because he still continues to fly. Now I switch to the other 109 that just pops into my line of sight, try and put some shots in, get some hits, but Really nothing too impressive, and he flies away. I'm not going to continue after him, because I know that there's a few guys behind me, and there in comes a MC-205. Now, this guy is going to stick on me for quite a while, and I have a little bit of an issue. He is just a little bit faster than me, and I would prefer him to be either a lot slower or a lot faster than me, so that I can turn the fight into my favor. Right now, he has a lot of time to shoot at me, and I have to really do my best to try and evade his shots. I go down a little bit to try and gain a little bit more speed so I have some more time to maneuver and I also drop my throttle right here because when I drag him into the dive if he has his engine to full throttle then he will overshoot me which he does so I turn back into him, put the engine back to 100% try and go up after him to try and get some shots on him, I do put some rounds down range, but I don't connect with any of them. And now he makes a mistake. He goes back down. He should have continued back up because I would have never been able to follow him. And right here, he gives me an opportunity to shoot him. I don't connect with my rounds, however. So he manages to get away with zero damage in the end. There are a lot of friendlies around me, so this guy is basically dead. He does make himself an easy target for me again, so I try and put the plane into a good position so I can shoot him. I try to get some rounds in, but I, for the life of me, cannot hit this guy. I will continue to try and go for him because this guy is very slow and a very juicy target, and there is no one else that I can see around right now, so why not? 
get some guns on, get some nice hits, but sadly no damage that will grant me the kill. Right now he does the best that he can, he just dives away, and to be honest he can't really do very much at this point anymore. Right now I decide to break off my attack from him and go for the guys that are over at our carriers because there is one friendly there and two to three enemies at the very least. So that is where I will be heading next. I'll put a little jump cut here because it takes a few minutes for me to get there and to spot the enemies. So after a little bit of flying I see that our destroyers are opening up on the enemy aircraft so I decide to dive down and see which ones are exactly there and it turns out that there is all three of them there. Now the LA-5 is going to be the first one I try to take out. I completely cut the engine so the engine doesn't really make any sound so he does not get alerted by my presence by the engine sound. I set him on fire and that will be him out of the game. Now the 109 below is very very slow although I had not seen that at this specific point in the game yet. Now I do decide to go for him because my logical thinking here was he is below me, I can get to him quicker and finish him off quicker and then I will be able to move on to the next one. Now I notice that he is really really slow, I just put a very long burst down range and then before I get too close and would end up ramming the water I pull off and go ahead and engage the other 109. Now I push for a little head-on attack, I turn away just in time so that he doesn't get any hits in on me. Sadly I don't get any hits on him either, but I do have friendly air support here. Now this is a little interesting fight here, it doesn't last very long, but I evade him, I come back around, and this would have been a very, very satisfying kill if it would have actually done sufficient damage, but sadly it did not. So that is going to be it for today guys, there are two more enemies alive, but I will not be getting the kill on either of them. So there is no real need in me showing you the end of this game. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.